Tired of waiting hours for low res video generations or running into paywalls after just one render? Same here, but today I'm showing you the tool that's about to replace Kling AI for good. It's faster, smarter and completely free. The tool is called Kriya AI and is blowing minds with how easy and fast it generates stunning AI videos. In this video, I will show you exactly how to use it step by step, unlock all the best features and even get results better than Kling. So with that said, let's dive in. Now, the first thing which you want to do is to search for Korea.ai on Google and then click on the first link. Now here I already signed in with my Google account and uh, on the first page you will pretty much see a ton of the features it actually offers. For example, we can take a look at the new Korea. So the website actually got a new UI. We also have a lot of the tools down below. So image, video, real time enhancer. And if I click here, you can pretty much also see video restyle, chat, gallery and the animator. Now here down below, we can also see the gallery. So the videos, the images created with Korea.ai. And I think they are absolutely stunning. So here we can see the prompt. We can see the image itself. We can see the model. So the flux. And we also can see here the likes. Now, if you would want to recreate the image, it's also very easy to do so. You can simply click here to recreate the image on your own. Now, let's take a look at the video here. So for example, we can take a look at this video. We can also see here the prompt we can see this simple video here and we can also see the model which was used so one and then we can see the likes here as well now let me show you how you guys can generate images as well as videos on this platform so here on top you will find this menu and click on the image now here you will see a simple prompt window as well as the style image prompt and even the aspect ratio now here i think i will just go with the image so this is my simple prompt a dog swimming in the water and then here we have the style. So here you can pre pretty much pick whatever style you prefer. So here we have the community styles, private ones, pinned and featured ones. So these are made by Korea themselves. Here I think I will go with the community and let's pick the style which I think will fit the image really really nicely. So I think we can go with this one. So cinematic realism and we can click here add style. And now here you will see this slider so you can move it up and down. For example I will go with 0.6 so just like this and then you can also add image prompt so for example if you have any reference images you can also add them by clicking image prompt right here and you can also see here that for the style I have one out of five so this means that you can also add combine the styles for example you can combine even five styles together and create one unique image now here I will go with the aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and now I will click here on the generate now here down below you can also see the model which was used so here you can see flux however if you have a premium account of Korea you can pretty much use any other model here as well for example you can go with image gen 3 from Google maybe even flux 1.1 pro but I think that the free account has also some really cool capabilities of generating the images I think that this third image right here down below looks the best you can click on it for example and then you can download it on your computer enhance it make a video out of it make a different variation or even put it to your favorites here i will click on the enhance you can click here to enhance the image and now you will see here a brand new window and here on the right you will see the upscaling method so here we have the prompt we have the ai strength and other stuff as well here you can click on enhance and this will enhance the image two times the resolution will double so this enhancing was actually quite fast you can also see here before and after so this is the before and this is the upscaled image we can see even more detail here on the dog we can see almost individual here on on the face and i think it looks very very nice nevertheless however you can also see that the face looks a bit different a bit older i think so yeah this is this is something that you need to be aware of while using the enhancer feature on korea.ai by the way guys if you are enjoying this type of content make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already now let's go straight to generating the videos so here on the the first page you can simply click here on the video and now you can see here on the bottom left corner the model which you want to use for example you can go with 1 2.1 with Hyunyan you can go with Pika 2.2 VO2 from Google but this one is quite expensive if you have free account Haluyo you have 0.01 live Luma Ray 2 Kling 1.6 and Kling 1.0 Pro here I think I will just go with 1 2.1 because I think it's the fastest model you can use on this platform and it also 
also has a start frame feature, but I will talk about start frame feature just in a minute. So here you can see the video. You can also describe the video and click to generate. So here, what I will do here, I will just write, let's say, so here we have this simple prompt, a man, st a man standing on top of the mountain. Then we can also add a start frame, but I will talk about this just in a minute. Now we have here also the style. So you have the community, private and pinned, but for the videos, there's no styles at the moment. However, you can also create a style by clicking here plus, and then you can also train a style or object by just clicking here the video, for example, and then you can click here to train it. However, as you can see here, you will have to have subscription to use this model. So yeah, this is something that you guys need to be aware of. Now I will go back here to video creation and I will choose the resolution of 480p, but you guys can go up to 720p with a free account. Now for the aspect ratio, I will go with the landscape and here I will click on generate. So now we can take a look at the video result from Korea.ai. And remember, we use the model 12.1. And here it is. It's long five seconds. And I will also put on the screen right here the comparison between this one on Korea.ai. So we used 12.1 and Clink 1.6. Pro. So you guys will see the comparison between the two videos. And now let me show you how you guys can generate a video from an image. Now here I will go to the image section. Now here I will go to the home section on Korea.ai and here I will click on this image which I will download right now to my computer. And I will also just save the prompt here. And I will go back to, and here I will go to the video option. And here I will click on the start frame and I will upload this exact image. So this snowman and here I will also add the prompt. So this is the prompt which I copied from the image. And now for the style, I will leave it as it is. And now we can simply generate another video. Now here on the right, you will see the video from Kling Pro 1.6. On the left, you will see the video from Korea.ai and we used one 2.1. Now, in my opinion, so this is my, just my personal opinion, the video from Clink Pro 1.6 looks better. However, keep in mind that on Korea platform, you have everything for free. Now, whenever you run out of the credits on Korea.ai, you can simply click here and click on the daily credit system. Now down below, you can also cl click here on subscription plans. And if you go down below here, you can change the plan to free plan. Now with the free plan, you can see here that you guys can generate 13 images. You can generate one, 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 two point one video and one union video. And you guys can also use different options like real time, 450 images, enhancer three images and the animator one video. Now remember that whenever you run out of the credits, you can always create another account. So this is why I think you should definitely give it a try. It's completely free to try it out. And then if you decide to down the road to upgrade to a premium account, if you have so much of a use case for this platform. But overall, I think it's a great platform which offers a ton of the models and it's totally, totally free. And now I will put on the screen the video I generated with a prompt as well as the input image. And I think that the result looks really, really promising. I think it's in very high quality and the overall details and everything look very, very nice. So I think you guys should definitely give Korea.ai a try. Please let me know in the comment section what do you actually think about Korea.ai. And with that said, make sure to just smash up the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all around in the next one.